13 hours a day. This is the average time I use my phone every day for 30 days in May. And in June, I was not able to sit and study for just 2 hours a day. And in the second week of June, I broke that cycle scientifically. I finished all of my work at IIT, made 4 videos in 20 days which is one of the highest in the channel's history and eventually we got this guy. So how am I able to quickly remove all of my distractions and start studying for hours in just 7 days? So in this video, whether you think you are lazy or average, we'll find scientific solutions that quickly make yourself focused on studies for 10 to 12 hours a day. Secondly, countless research points distractions are a major factor for poor academic performance. So we'll discuss simple and practical scientific tips to beat all distractions. And in today's world, we have to depend on smartphones and laptops for exam preparation. So I'll share 5 apps that will make it impossible to waste time on internet during your study. My web browser presents me with the, the news of the day. And before I know it, I've been lost. You know, 15, 20 minutes has gone by. From the moment that I woke up, my life was a series of screens. It's time to buckle down, open your computer, and check your phone. First of all, why do we get distracted? There is a concept in science. If you do something for 21 days, then it becomes a habit. <laughs> oh, six, this is and because of that, I lost control of my life. So in the month of May, I've been hospitalized for 30 days. My health is actually not getting better. In fact, it's getting worse and worse every single day. So one day I took my phone, I searched what might be the reason my health is not improving. And if you're hospitalized, I have one tip for you. Never ever try to find the reasons through your phone. It will show the possibility of many diseases. Even it shows the possibility of cancer. Very negative and I started using social media because I felt better. Plus, I was watching IPL every single day without fail. And after 30 days, my physical health is fine. And I came to IIT and when I decided to sit and walk like before, I can't. I forced myself to study for some time using fast app but beyond 2 hours I started scrolling phone, watching movie, T20 World Cup and then I decided to change. If you don't know about me, I'm someone who approaches everything scientifically. As I was unmotivated to read books, I searched YouTube, TED plus how to stay focused and this video popped up. That's when I realized distraction is not due to lack of focus. Distraction is due to power stimulation. What does that mean? Observe our life. We have Instagram, WhatsApp, cricket, movies. We are surrounded with things that gives us stimulation. There is a chemical called dopamine that will produce in our brain when we eat our favorite food or having sex. The same chemical will produce when we watch reels, when we get likes from our Instagram story, watching our favorite shows. But study sessions are not as stimulating like that. So I'm distracted not due to lack of focus, it's caused due to overstimulation. So ideally, I decided to train my brain to be okay with less stimulated life. And for the next seven days, I did two things. Firstly, I changed my lifestyle. Two, I did activities that boost my brain brain's ability to focus. So what are all the changes I have made in the 7 days? Before telling you that, now a quick announcement for you. If you are looking for a good gate coaching at an affordable price, I would recommend Gatewala as they have their batches taught by India's best educators in both Hindi and English. And it's independent day. To celebrate that, PW is giving 75% on all gate batches and test series. Offer ends this Sunday. So enroll today. And additionally, you can use my code RAGU500 for additional 500 rupees off. That's details. RRB J Crash Course 1499. RRB J Test Series at 99. Station ESC Plus Gate 2027 Batch at 17800. Parakram 2.0 Gate 2025 Batch B. English and English at 599. Vijay 2.0 Gate 2025 Rank Improvement Batch B at 4400. Station 2.0 Gate 2026 Batch B at 8400. Station Gate 2026 Chemical Batch B at 14499. Parakram 2025 Plus ESC Plus Gate Plus PSC Batch D at 11999. Station Gate 2027 plus PSC plus placement operation computer science and IT 17800. Parakram 2.0 Gate plus PSC plus placement operation 2025 batch at 9999. Now experience infinite learning with batch infinity from PW offering Gate Kasana, PYQs, and much more. So I have attached the link in the description. Use code RAGU500 and enroll for your Gate exam preparation. Now let's get back to lifestyle changes that is needed. There is a part in our brain called PCC, posterior cingulate cortex, which is responsible for mind wandering. Sarah Lazar, a neuroscientist at Harvard Medical School, she found that those who meditate on a regular basis have lower brain activity in their PCC. So first, meditate. And recently, American neuroscientist Andrew Huberman mentioned a hack that can boost your focus permanently in just 17 minutes. A simple practice of taking 17 minutes, sitting and paying attention to your internal state, just intercepting. Registering your breathing, registering the contact of your skin with whatever surface you're on can forever rewire your brain to be able to attend better. Now, 
there was a study that was conducted in Michigan State University. In that study, 234 students were invited to lab in the evening. Between the time 10 p.m. to midnight, they were given a task to complete. And the tasks one have to follow certain steps and the procedure is also given. While they were doing the task, the researchers interrupted the students periodically. But all of them completed the task. And now here is the test. Now one half of the students sent back to home for sleep and other half in lab staying awake. The next morning, the same task was given with same periodic distraction, but this time the people who had good sleep, whenever there was a distraction was present, they quickly refocus back to the task and they have completed it. But guess what? The sleep deprived students, not everyone can not able to refocus and complete it. So secondly, sleep. Sleep for at least seven to nine hours a day. Now, I hate this one person in my life. I remember one guy during my gate exam preparation. He's very small. He grasps concept quicker. So whenever I had a doubt, I asked him and he clarified me that he's very humble and he comes to study hall every day and study for hours. And eventually he found one girlfriend. And after that, they both used to come and study every day. But after some time, I don't know why what happened, they fought and they separated. And this guy in the month of January, where everyone was preparing interns, instead of focusing on his gate preparation, he went to her hometown to convince her and she said no. And after that, certain days when I met him, he told that, Raghu, I think gate is not my cup of tea. From many friends I observed, it appears at least don't get into relationship during your competitive exam preparation. Now, listen to this person. He's a millionaire, American venture capitalist, founder, CEO. We kind of knew something bad could happen. We have created tools that are ripping apart the social fabric of how society works. The short-term dopamine-driven feedback loops that we have created are destroying how society works. He is also one of the former executive officers at Facebook. Listen, social media is developed by best brains in the world so that you can use it more amount of hours. They are designed to give you dopamine hits every time. So actually you can't win them. So just quit social media. This one professor I read in Cal Newport's blog. He used to never check his phone till 4 p.m. except calls. And I adapted the same. During the process, I started with not using mobile phone except call till 12 p.m. Then I gradually increased to 5 p.m. Then I made it under control. Now don't worry, I know this problem needs more action to solve it. So in the later part of the video, I have shared 5 apps that will control your smartphone additions, thereby helping you to stay controlled. Now have you ever heard of the marshmallow experiment in 1970? Psychologist Walter Mitchell from Stanford University who did this. Where children were offered a choice between eating one marshmallow immediately or two marshmallows if they waited for a period of time. There's a marshmallow, you can either wait and I'll bring you back another one so you can have two or you can eat it now. So you can eat it now or you can wait and I'll bring you back two, okay? Okay. So whenever each children comes, they give the marshmallow, the researchers left the child alone in the room with the single marshmallow for about 15 minutes. So they're gonna eat it? They're gonna want to eat one thing or still not gonna give two. But if you wait until she gets back, she'll give you two. She still won't give you two because you ate it. So I didn't eat a single bite of mine. Now, most of them ate the marshmallow that was given to them immediately. Very few patiently waited for 15 minutes and got one more marshmallow and ate two marshmallows. Now, researchers observed these students' performance over the years. They found that children who could delay gratification and wait for the second marshmallow tended to have better life outcomes, higher SAT scores, lower BMI, better social skills, higher incomes, and fitter. So research was clear, those who delay gratification over immediate gratification can do better in life. So how can we practice that? One of the simplest way is by having discipline in foods. And I believe it's the best option because research also proves a proper diet increases your brain's ability to focus. So avoid junk foods, sugars, stop overeating, stop eating packaged food, but strategically plan to have whatever you want once in a week, like six days of discipline and seventh day, eat what you like. And finally, we humans are not actually programmed for eat, sleep, repeat. Our ancestors move constantly for their survival. And trust me, exercise is among one of the top treatments for curing ADHD in adults and kids. So exercise for at least 15 to 30 minutes a day. Did you ever wonder how bad smartphone addiction can lead you? Let me tell you a real life incident. Now, how many of you here done engineering and how many of you hate mechanical department? I don't know about your college. 
in my beta college there was an incident which made everyone to hate us so usually we mechanical students we think that we are the supreme department one day one of the student in mechanical in my year he did something bad i don't want to say what is that mech boys are bad then mechanical staffs are their dad right so what happened was entire staffs of mechanical department from hod to, to assistant professors came to our class closed the door surrounded us literally like the movies they snatched all of our mobile phones literally told to everyone whether your dad is rich or powerful i don't care you guys committed a mistake so we are not giving you a phone and for the next few days we were feeling like hell cuz we don't know what to do without our phone we go to class we use phone we go to hostel we use phone if you go to restroom also we use phone so after 7 days they gave us the phone but that 7 days was actually hell that is what happens to a smartphone addict if he doesn't have his phone this is similar to how cocaine addicts can live without cocaine now in today's world we need smartphone for everyday use now most of the coachings are shifting to online tests are online so how to have a healthy relationship with smartphone without a negative impact that's why we are going to check out five apps that will help you to stay focused now my most favorite app is minimalist it is actually a launcher and it's actually most boring launcher it has no wallpaper no icon for app because researcher found that when we open smartphone we mindlessly click some apps based on their icon and whenever you open any social media it, it will give a reminder on how long you can use it to prevent yourself from spending more time on the platform following upon that we often open social media without any intention whenever we had a slight hint of boredom we check phones so to prevent that there is a concept which i learned in atomic habits book which is add friction to bad habits for example in amazon you can buy a product in two clicks but to return that product you have to first replace it and after that you have to write a request to return it this actually reduces the return percentage in amazon so scientifically friction reduces bad behavior to prevent mindless opening there is an app called onsec what it will do is you just set in settings the app which you are mindlessly opening the most and whenever you open it it will tell you to take a deep breath you can set how long this friction to be but by the end of the breath it will ask you whether you want to open it or not now if some of my friends here at iit madras i observed they use steady music to focus better and it was scientifically proven there are certain music actually helps you to calm and focus better this is where end comes in one of the best app i come across they have tracks for focus relax sleep and much more do check it out it's free now how many of you here open whatsapp or instagram with the intention to message someone then waste more time mindlessly checking statuses and instagram feed there is a app called beeper where you can connect all of your social media like instagram facebook whatsapp in one place but the best part is here you can only send the message and receive the message you can't check their statuses instagram feed now you may be asking me ragu you are talking only about phone what if you are someone who uses laptop for most of your work answer is leech block ng ng stands for next generation works on most major browsers and it's free and it gives a bunch of options for blocking distraction you can make lists to sites to block then restrict them in all kind of ways now ragu you are talking only about smartphone distractions we have other distractions bro yes don't worry in the next two minutes i'll share you five big hacks that will beat all of your distractions See, there are two types of distractions one is internal distraction and other is external distraction external distraction is like phone relationships friends family i believe the best solution to all external distraction is as steven covey author of seven habits of highly effective people puts it put first things first what that means is put your exam preparation first and eliminate all the other things that slows you down now what about internal distractions example thinking about something while studying thinking that this task takes so much time to finish so you started procrastinating firstly plan plan your day before you go for sleep write down what are the three things you want to complete by the end of the day second break your task into mini tasks example let's say you plan to revise a big subject you know it will take a long time break that big goal into mini goals pierre steel one of the pioneers in procrastination research mentions in his book that one of the main reason for procrastination is difficulty thirdly set deadlines buddha once says problem is you think you have time if you don't set deadlines you will think you have more time so you scroll your phone four try time boxing you know what bill gates plans every 5 minutes of his day for us we plan at least every hour of our day if you check out my telegram i have attached a free notion template on this go download it it will be super useful finally one of the common internal distraction is worries what happens if i fail the test why she is not texting me will someone roast in my instagram post problem is this worries will come when we are studying and we don't want that attention is very important to overcome that create a worry list just near your to do list create a worry list and note down all the worries now while studying we 
whenever you are having this worry just say to yourself yeah i'm going to take care of this worry at later point of time now it's time to study now again it's worth remembering this quote from bruce lee a successful person is an average person with laser like focus so the bigger question is will you take action and laser focused on your preparation but i see the light from far away it's down the line maybe i should not give up without a fight